biggest concern with Jordan Love is obviously the turnovers. I mean, this guy had as many touchdowns as he did interceptions this past year, but it's more than just touchdown interception ratio. This guy is easily the most inaccurate quarterback of any of the top five quarterbacks in this class, especially when you filter down to open throws. You look at open throws. PFF has been doing specific ball charting at the collegiate level for the past three years, and when you look at his open throws, more inaccurate than Justin Herbert, Tua Tungvaluwa, Joe Burrow. Just very inconsistent in that regard. He's a late processor. The reason you see the Green Bay Packers trading up and selecting him in the first round is because if you watch Jordan Love's five best throws, you get a little taste of Patrick Mahomes. He can do that off-platform, out-of-structure stuff you see Patrick Mahomes does. Because he has 10 out of 10 arm talent. This guy has a beautiful arm, can do anything you want on the football field. The problem is, the consistency. You don't. His five worst plays are some of the worst plays you'll see at the collegiate level from the co- quarterback position, and he did it at Utah State in the Mountain West, not against top-flight competition. There are a ton of concerns with Jordan Love, but all it takes is one, one quarterback coach, one front office that thinks they can get those five best plays from Jordan Love all the time. They can turn him into that next Patrick Mahomes. I think that's what the Green Bay Packers think they can do by sitting Jordan Love behind Aaron Rodgers, maybe for a year, maybe two, and developing him into this premier starter. Well, I would imagine it's a minimum of a year behind Aaron Rodgers because I don't think they think that Jordan Love's going to start this season and probably two years. If he gets two years on the bench behind Rodgers and hypothetically starts year number three, would you feel more confident that Jordan Love would be ready for the NFL? I think he'll be a better quarterback if he sits on the bench behind Aaron Rodgers at just the speed of the NFL, get some preseason and practice reps in. I think he'll be a better quarterback then, but will he be better enough to be worth this first-round pick? That's that's where you really have to decide, was this worth it? Or would you have been smarter to build around Aaron Rodgers, maximize this admittedly tight window you have with this 36-year-old quarterback to win a Super Bowl? Maybe go get a wide receiver, help this team, help Aaron Rodgers win, not plan for the future after Aaron Rodgers. 